always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. And welcome back. Uh, the cold moon they caught, uh, that is the full moon in December, and we're just coming off of that. It actually was yesterday, or last night, but I wanted to show you this cool view, the Juan Woodmill, and of course, this is Holland. Notice all the breaks in the cloud cover out there, and what's illuminating the clouds is actually the near full moon out there, and it's not uh, anything certainly hasn't been cold <laughs> so we do have some cooler temperatures uh, out there right now but nothing really cold here's a live view this is muskegon you can see if you look closely also breaks in the cloud cover in muskegon uh, much drier morning out there compared to yesterday jlr4 international airport all is quiet and has a busy travel day 39 degree temperature currently in grand rapids 36 calms u40 in muskegon i'm going to shift over here and show you where those mild temperatures that we woke up to yesterday now pushing towards the eastern side of the great lakes uh, the wind is on now on the north that's drawing in some slightly cooler temperatures nine mile an hour wind in grand rapids six in kalamazoo so it's generally under 10 miles an hour but the wind direction is key here and you can see the 24 hour temperature change the blues encompassing much of central and western parts of the state uh, uh, to the tune of around 12 to as much as 17 degrees cooler right now compared to yesterday this is the dominant weather maker uh, throughout the United States. This large donut hole in the center of the country. That's an upper-level low-pressure system. And around it, the counterclockwise circulation. And we're getting a dry wedge of air out there. Uh, really mature systems like this, you can get the deep moisture and dry air circulating around it. We're going to be lucky enough this morning that that dry air is going to lead to some sunshine. But you can see the clouds come back into the picture later in the day and eventually a chance of some rain showers this evening and overnight and throughout the day on Thursday. Nothing particularly heavy out there, but I think the bulk of the heaviest of the light precip or rain is going to be north of Grand Rapids. If you're in the Big Rapids area, Reed City over towards, uh, we'll say the Hart area, could pick up around a quarter to a half an inch of rain. A few sprinkles left over on Friday. Dry right now, it looks like, on Saturday into the weekend. Um, maybe a flurry or a sprinkle on Sunday. Really nothing significant out there. No Arctic air and no major systems, Tom.